Patriotism. What does it mean? Does it mean standing up to or against one's government and its policies if and when you disagree? Does it mean going along, defending without question? In this edition of AIB Presents, we look for answers to those questions about patriotism. We talk to people who have turned their anger at the political process and rage over the actions of politicians into activism. And we explore what patriotism means to those who have left their homelands to pledge allegiance to the American flag. AIB Presents Patriotism. Enshrined forever in the archives of America's history will be those great men who have guided our country to her destiny as leader of the world's free nations. Here then are our presidents. George Washington, first in war, first in peace. His grateful countrymen called him to be their first president. John Adams, first president to live in the White House. Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration of Independence. When you think of American patriots, you might think of these men, early American presidents, the so-called founding fathers. We learn that they fought against tyranny and fought for freedom and independence. Icons like George Washington, who revolted against British rule to become the first American president, and later, other icons like Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president, who said, Patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president or any other public official, save exactly to the degree in which he himself stands by the country. It is patriotic to support him insofar as he efficiently serves the country. It is unpatriotic not to oppose him to the exact extent that by inefficiency or otherwise he fails in his duty to stand by the country. In either event, it is unpatriotic not to tell the truth, whether about the president or anyone else. The English term patriot is first used in the Elizabethan era, the mid-16th century, and comes from the late Latin word patriota, meaning countryman, simply someone who lives within the borders of a specific nation. Some 300 years later, American author Mark Twain expanded on the term, writing that allegiance to one's country while being skeptical of one's government is the true test of one's patriotism. Loyalty to country always. Loyalty to government when it deserves it. In a contemporary context, patriotic resistance has taken shape in the form of protests, from the Occupy Movement demonstrations beginning in 2011 to marches held in the wake of the presidential election in November 2016. Resistance has also come in the form of the ballot box. One factor, a distinct lack of trust in elected officials in general and the federal government in particular. According to a 2015 study by the Pew Research Center, only 20% of Americans trust Washington to do what is right. That number reflects a downward trend and a historic low. Despite a lack of trust in the government to uphold the values spelled out in the Constitution, and despite disagreement over what it means to be a loyal citizen, that is, what it means to defend the values of freedom and liberty embedded in the Declaration of Independence, there are those for whom trust is what they cling to, newly minted citizens. At the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rumpers we watch were so gallantly
A new American celebration at the Georgia State Capitol is a virtual showcase of patriotism. Dean Moore sits on the City Council of Clarkston, Georgia, a city with one of the highest concentrations of refugees and immigrants in the United States. The many threads of our lives come together and weave a stronger social fabric, unlike any other society. Becoming a citizen of the United States of America provides the freedom to create and be a part of the most beautiful multinational, multicultural, multi-philosophical, multi-religious fabric of life. In Atlanta, Georgia, the surrounding area, and more particularly in Clarkson, we have a greater life fabric, the richness of the world, woven into our lives and neighborhoods. This is achieved through the concentration of the wonderful people that have been displaced from their homes, the wonderful people that have created the programs to relocate those that have been displaced, the wonderful people that have developed skills to provide a safe environment to, to wonderful people. To, sorry, to thrive toward a goal of citizenship, and all the other wonderful people that chose to be a part of our rich family. I thank all of you. The New American Celebration is the annual day of education and outreach for refugees, immigrants, and Georgia community members who support them. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal stood shoulder to shoulder, at least for a photo op, to welcome the new citizens. The naturalization ceremony has become a vital event at the Capitol at our New American Celebration. This is our fifth annual celebration, and the whole event is an effort to educate our Georgia officials on who refugees and immigrants are and why their presence and contributions are important to Georgia. We can think of no better way to celebrate our refugee and immigrant neighbors than to join with you on this final part of your citizenship journey. I hope that when the world looks at you today, that they see Americans who are our co-workers our fellow parents in the PTA, owners of our favorite restaurants, scholars, teachers, scientists, artists, neighbors, friends, and so much more. Your investments here are helping us keep America vibrant and successful. The CRSA members work with over 600 companies in 2016 to help employ refugee workers, and 91% of our refugee arrivals are self-sufficient within six months of coming to Georgia. Refugees and immigrants are a key part of Georgia's most vital industries, agriculture, hospitality, and manufacturing. Our CS CRSA annual report, available today, provides more data about the contributions that our refugee neighbors make to our state in addition to the personal stories of those we serve. As I look at these 11 candidates for naturalization today, I know that you must all have incredible stories about the events that brought you to this moment. I hope that I speak for all those in attendance today when I say that you are welcome here and we hope that this ceremony conveys the value that you have already added and will continue to add to our nation. All the rights and privileges of naturalization will be available to you in a few short minutes. The ceremony concluded with an oath of citizenship. Loud as we can hear you, that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant services in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, 
and that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Congratulations, you are the newest citizens of the United States of America. Patriotism to me um, means understanding that together we can achieve more than we could individually and that we need to include everyone in the American dream and that is how we move forward. America is a community of immigrants from all over the world and we are a true melting pot and I think that you know welcoming refugees and immigrants and people from all over the world is a really important aspect of patriotism. Patriotism means uh, basically being able to stay true to your values, right? Uh, for example, our founding fathers, uh, they were able to travel many miles uh, from Europe uh, to be able to fund this country in, in, in the sense of having a, a heaven for those that are persecuted. I myself, I was an undocumented immigrant. Uh, I have the fortune that my mother made the sacrifice to leave everything in her country uh, for my well-being. And here I am, um, 13 years later, uh, I'm actually a senior at the University of Florida, about to graduate with a business agree and I actually have a job lined up so I mean we're not people that are coming here to be rapists or to be criminals or to be drug dealers as the current rhetoric is no we're actually people that are here to want to contribute I uh, want to uh, uh, progress in this country patriotism oftentimes means to keep the status quo a lot of times but patriotism is to uh, fight for justice, fight for those who are marginalized, fight for those who are oppressed. I get to see a lot of new Americans here for the first time. So m many of the people that are coming today didn't come from places where you could really access your government. So you have the opportunity to talk to your elected officials, to tell them your story, to meet with them person to person, and get that understanding that this is your house. You know, um, and I think it's really powerful. It's, it's very powerful for people who have been, um, they're survivors of oppression, to come to a place where they have the right to access government and they have a voice. It means opening our doors and a humanitarian effort to people around the world who want to uh, seek a safe place to um, do what we all want, which is to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. Um, and so for me, that that's the ultimate of of the American ideal, and I'm afraid in this time, and this time, we're losing sort of what makes us um, a shining city on the hill to the rest of the world. That we're giving away a lot of that, and like a reputation, very, very hard uh, to gain that reputation. It's very easy to lose it. It's almost impossible to regain it. Well, I think the American dream is something that holds true for everyone across the world, and I think we need to preserve that and welcome people and know that anyone can live the American dream and come here and work hard and raise a family and have religious freedom and the any freedoms to explore what that American dream means to them. I'd like people just to take time to get to know who these people are, how hard it is to get refugee status. These are not illegal immigrants. I'd like to separate that story. These are not terrorists. These are women and children and families that have gone through tremendous struggles just to get refugee status, to come here, to work, to have the safety, and to raise their children here. And it's very different from illegal immigrants. People look to America, you know, when I come here, I have dreams and I still have dreams, you know, and the dreams is that this is the land of opportunity where everybody comes here and everybody writes his own dream, how far he can go and how far, what can I make. So for me, uh, American citizenship means going back to the community, doing volunteer job, contributing, and building a safe community. Every voice counts and every vote counts. So we ask people to get involved, to get involved political on their local elections, to get involved on the big picture, because that matters, that makes their life much different. So if, if you have the right to vote and get involved, we ask people to raise their voice. Even if you don't have to write the vote, just at least come out and kind of tell your story, who you are, and tell people you are here peacefully and you are here to work hard and build the American dream like everybody. Because this is the culmination of the work that we do all year. We just uh, encourage people, uh, all of our ceremonies are open to the public. 
And this is part of being an American to welcome others to our country. Patriotism means to me just loving our country, loving our values, and supporting the Constitution of the United States. And it's very important for us as Americans to understand the Constitution, understand the rules and laws of our nation, and just celebrate others that are joining us as new Americans. Because we're patriots, yeah. right? Yeah. We're Americans, we believe in democracy, and we're patriots. You bet. When we return, is dissent patriotic? AIB presents Patriotism Returns. The New American Celebration held in March 2017 at the Georgia State ended with a moving performance of This Land is Your Land sung by students from the Global Village Project, all of them refugees. Some 70 years later, after the song was first recorded by folk legend Woody Guthrie, its lyrics strike a chord of discord. Folk singer John McCutcheon explains. Uh, he, was, he was not afraid to speak out about stuff. He was a very inconvenient citizen, uh, but American to the core. Guthrie's iconic song is an ode to American patriotism in its rawest form, brutal, honest, and unflinching in its depiction of an America that embraces everyone despite their race, color, and creed. This is American patriotism set to music, a rebel yell that questions the status quo and speaks to the power of the public. It reflects what Thomas Jefferson wrote some 200 years earlier in a letter to George Washington. It is an axiom in my mind that our liberty can never be safe but in the hands of the people themselves. June 2016, hundreds of people gather outside the Fox Theater in Midtown Atlanta to protest outside then Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's campaign fundraiser. Was it patriotism in action or traitorous? Weekly protests outside the offices of a U.S. Senator from Georgia were organized, in part, by people newly energized to get engaged in the political process. They claimed their demands for accountability from an elected official were part of their patriotic duty. No, I think this is patriotic. The Founding Fathers, they have very clear things in mind on how we would be independent from, the, from a king and uh, that the king cannot stand above everything else. And so we're standing here for the people and we want the, peop the people to be heard. And that's why I believe this is patriotic. I'm an immigrant and I feel very, very strong about this country and I'm glad that I came here. But I believe that, you know, the, the people in this country are hiding behind, you know, their that, uh, particularly in the South, behind their heritage, and they don't want to look at really what's happening around them. And that's what I believe patriotism is. Look at what the Founding Fathers had in, 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 in mind when they, when they founded this country, and go back to the principles and make sure that they work. I'm here because I, um, I'm a resident of Georgia, I'm a local, I'm an American, um, and I and the government, I feel that the government isn't working as it should for whom it should. Um, I believe that as the system, is, as politics is working right now, it is working the best for the very wealthy, the large corporations, and that um, 
even though the lower class and the middle class, the shrinking middle class, are putting in their working the hardest people, the hardest working people in the country, they're not reaping the benefits and they're not being protected as they should from our, our government, our federal, federally, locally, and state level, on, on all all across the spectrum. Um, patriotism is having a, a love for um, your country in terms of. Uh, you love what it stands for, and the people in the community that it that it breeds and the culture, um, and that you work very hard to to help it reach its full potential. Like uh, I had a meeting today with um, a state policy director of Senator Perdue, um, and I was as I was going through the list of things I was concerned about, um, they were saying, "Oh, it just sounds like you're kind of angry at everything, and how uh, you it just sounds like you kind of want to live in a completely different country." And it's the exact opposite. I'm in this office because I care about this country and I think that it is going astray and I'm trying to make it better. I think that it is, it is important to, um, to look at things critically and, and to not like not to take any not to take anything um, straightforward how to look at how things affect you and how things will affect others and to have a dialogue about it and crit and have critical thinking and I think the dissent in this definition is going off of the way like straying from the, the norm or how things are given to you so I think it is important um, it is very important for the political process um, specifically because if things continue the way that they are This is the very essence of patriotism. This country was founded by people who were not happy, were displeased with government and the way they were being governed, and they wanted their own representation. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. We are not happy with our current um, elected officials. And so as our right as citizens, we come here, we convene, and we meet peacefully. Now, we've also requested formal meetings, uh, sit-downs, if you will, with these elected officials, and they have not granted us those. And so because of that, we are here exercising our First Amendment rights. And it's in some ways probably been a little bit better that they didn't give us that audience that we asked for because they have helped create a movement. They have galvanized us into a coalition of different organizations who come together and demand that our government represent us. This is what America looks like. This group that gathers here is a reflection of our country. Men, women, young, old, black, brown, white, straight, Muslim, Christian. This is a true reflection of America, and that's why we are here today. I am here because I am concerned. Um, I actually started this rally, um, started this movement, let's call it, in January. Um, right around the time of the election, I was getting a lot of emails, political emails. I saw an email that said, would you like to set up a meeting with your senator? And I jumped on that. I said, I would love to talk to my senator. I have so many concerns about this new administration, about our new president. I would love to talk to my elected official directly. So I set up uh, that event. I thought maybe 10 other people would come to the meeting with me. 147 people signed up that day to come to the meeting and it has continued ever since then. I am definitely doing this not just for myself personally but for my country and I feel that that's what patriotism is, is when my country is part of me. I am an American and I feel that the representatives of my country right now are not representing me or my country. the opposite of patriotism is treason. And that is why uh, treason um, is a very strong word, but I do believe that uh, our president and people around him being under investigation right now um, is so concerning to me and is the opposite of, they are the opposite of patriots. If they have actually tried uh, in whatever way with Russia to influence the democratic process,
process of our election. That obviously is the opposite of patriotism. Um, and I feel as a patriot that I need to go out and make sure that those issues are resolved. Because we know you love your city, you love your state, and you love your country. Yeah. These people, um, they're here in the rain. It's, it's not sunny, um, and we've been here for over 13 weeks now. Rain, sometimes it's snow, sometimes it's sleet, sometimes it's very hot. Um, I remember one day we were outside, they had to have water because it was so perching hot. But you know what about these people? These are true patriotists. These are people who fight for what they believe in. They're not getting paid, they're not paid protesters, but they believe in fighting for their dreams. Many of them have come from different places, many walks of life. You see white, you see black, you see old, you see, re you see people that have um, influence, but they're all out here for one thing, and that's because they're fighting for a America and America's beliefs. Patriotism to me means having the opportunity to express whatever your desire, whatever your belief, whatever your faith, whatever your religion. I would almost equate it to the First Amendment. The freedom of speech, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, the freedom of religion, um, all of that to me is an opportunity to express patriotism and the, the fact that we love the USA because it gives us those liberties. Well, that's not what the Patriots said that founded this country. Uh, George Washington didn't say that, Thomas Jefferson didn't say that, Benjamin Franklin didn't say that. And when you have a, a, a tyrannical government from the top, it is your responsibility to resist. That's what the founding fathers would say. So I say to anybody that says that, they need to read their American history or take American History 101 again, and they will see that this is the most patriotic thing you could possibly do, is hold your government accountable. Some have paid the ultimate price to defend the rights of other Americans the freedom to criticize and challenge the government, even the policy that sent the soldier to war. Others made hard choices and sacrifice, perhaps leaving all they've ever known to build new lives for themselves and their children in a nation that aspires to give all citizens a fair shake, but frequently it doesn't. Perhaps patriotism means believing the best is achievable, worth fighting for, working toward, even when people disagree on how to get there.